thanks for watching and let's calculate two to a matrix and before you're like wait is that even possible let me ask you this what are you watching not dr payan of course it's possible and for this we need to use some linear algebra so let's calculate the eigenvalues of this matrix so determinant of this minus lambda 2 minus 6 6 minus lambda that gives you minus 1 minus lambda 6 minus lambda minus 2 times minus 6 which if you foil it out it gives you minus 6 plus lambda minus 6 lambda plus lambda squared plus 12 and finally we get lambda squared minus 5 lambda plus 6 which is one of our favorite polynomials to factor out because then we get lambda minus 2 times lambda minus 3 equals 0 and therefore the eigenvalues are lambda equals 2 or lambda equals 3 and from this we can get the eigenvectors if you're curious here are the details this is for lambda equals 2 where our corresponding eigenvector is 2 3 and this is for lambda equals 3 where our corresponding eigenvector is 1 2 so what does that tell you it tells you that this matrix minus 1 2 minus 6 6 can be put in diagonal form so it can be turned into a diagonal matrix as follows if this is a matrix of eigenvectors 2 3 1 2 then you can turn it into the matrix of eigenvalues 2 0 0 3 and then 2 1 3 2 inverse as covered in a different video and now the question is how do you calculate 2 to that matrix minus 1 2 minus 6 6 well whatever did you do to the matrix you do to the diagonal part of it so in particular to calculate 2 to the matrix you just do 2 to the eigenvalues so we just get 2 1 3 2 and then 2 squared 0 0 2 to the third 2 1 3 2 inverse and so all that's left to do is calculate this 2 squared 2 cubed and multiply those matrices out. And by the way, in case you're curious why this works, all we did, we used 2 to the a is e of ln of 2 times a. So technically what we did, we took our matrix, multiplied each entry by ln of 2, and then exponentiated this using a previous video that I've done on matrix exponentials but eventually you'll see that the effect is just on the diagonal matrix. This is why diagonalization is so important. All right, let's now do it. So the diagonal matrix of course becomes as follows. Now to calculate the inverse you use a formula for the inverse of a 2 by 2 matrix. So 1 over the determinant, which is 1 anyway, and you switch the diagonal terms, 2, 2, and you put a minus 1 on the anti-diagonal terms. So 2 minus 1, minus 3, 2. And then to calculate this, again from right to left, so first you uh, multiply this row by 4, to get 8 minus 4, you multiply this row by 8 to get minus 24 and 16. I know quite big numbers. And then you multiply those two matrices. So I think it's 16 minus 24 and then minus 8 plus 16 and then 24 minus 48 and last but not least minus 12 plus 32. And in the end, what you get is the following matrix. So I believe minus 8, 8, and then minus 24, and then 20. Let me just double check. Uh, yeah, that's correct. Ta-da! So this is 2 to the A. And in case you're wondering, why is this useful? Quantum mechanics, maybe? Or I also feel... Uh, 
You know, because we have binary numbers in computer science, maybe there's an analog of binary matrices, maybe. So if someone knows computer science, just let, know, let us know in the comments if you find applications of this. I did think of a cute pure math application of this, because we do have this geometric sum, which equals to the following sum. And I was wondering, is there an analog of this for 2 to the a? And this is the analog I could come up with. So I believe it is true that i plus 2 to the a plus 4 to the a plus dot 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 plus 2 to the n a equals 2 to the n plus 1 a minus the identity. But I believe you do have to divide by, uh, or not divide, but multiply by 2 to the a minus the identity inverse. It doesn't matter from the left, from the right. And, and in fact, this generalizes not only to 2 to the a, but really uh, r to the a. So 1 plus r to the a plus r squared to the a plus dot 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 plus rn to the a biology lovers RNA and you do get the same formula R to the n plus 1 a minus the identity times R to the a minus the identity inverse which would be interesting to figure out well when does this converge what is the convergence of this does it depend on the modulus of R again those are fun equations that you could explore all right, I hope you like this. If you want to see more math, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.